Hi, welcome to this chapter. In this chapter, we are going to start with the setup of our API automation framework. To get started with API automation framework setup, we first need Java to be installed on our machine. So uh, just uh, one of the prerequisite, if you have not installed Java on your machine, then you can go on this link, oracle.com and in Java technologies download and you can download JDK as per your requirement. So I am using Windows, so I have downloaded Windows exe file from here and you can uh, download as per your machine requirement then after that we need we may need some code editor here i am going to use intellij idea so i have downloaded the community version here uh, because it is completely free of cost ultimate version is you can also download but it is only free for 30 days uh, and after 30 days you need to pay for it uh, so i am going to use community version here and i have downloaded and installed it once you have downloaded java and intellij and installed both of them on your machine you just go and you need to launch intellij idea so once you launch IntelliJ IDEA, you will land on this screen. And from here, we are going to start with the basic setup of our, of our API automation framework. So uh, you need to click on here, new project. And once you click on new project, then you will uh, see a new window opens up and there are different type of uh, options available. So here we are going to use a Maven archetype project. So for that, uh, I have selected this one and here you need to give the name of your project so we are going to um, use api testing so i'm going to um, name this project as api test and from arc type you need to have uh, maven arc type uh, make sure you have this quick start arc type selected so i have selected this maven arc type maven arc type quick start and from here you can select the jdk as well so you can download the jdk and you can add jdk whatever is available on your machine so i have selected this jdk which is on my machine and i have selected arc type as uh, this one and then you uh, click on o uh, advanced setting then you can see here that it is mentioned org.example.com so this is the group id group id is basically your domain or company name and uh, uh, artifact id is your project name and then you can give the version as well so we are going to keep the same org.example.com and api test as our uh, project name and then we click on the create so once we click on the create then you can see that uh, on the down right hand side it is showing me some something are happening and it is updating few of the things and you can see that it is downloading few of the libraries as well so once we download, uh, once this thing is completed, what we will do is we are going to uh, add some certain uh, dependencies to our pom.xml. So for that, what we need to do is we need to expand this our project and you will find a pom.xml file. So if you are not aware about this pom.xml file, pom.xml file contains all of the Maven related, uh, basically project related de dependencies and Maven as a build tool reads this file only. So you can see that uh, now it is, uh, it has given me a skeleton of form.xml and now what we are going to do and it is at this point of time, it is adding some of the uh, dependencies which are uh, kind of um, plugged in with this uh, plugin basically uh, which we have used uh, maven plugins arc type quick start so it has uh, downloaded them and uh, built the project so now we are going to need some certain dependencies which are which are very um, related to our project so what we are going to do is you can see that there is one um, tag dependencies and inside that dependency we uh, this have uh, added one dependency which is for j unit we are going we are not going to use this so we can remove this dependency from here uh, so but the dependency that we are going to use uh, we are going to use i'm telling you how we can uh, use those 
and download those. So very first of all, we need a dependency for rest assured because we are going to use our rest assured as main uh, uh, framework. So for that, you need to go to mavenrepository.com and here you just need to search any of the dependencies which you want and then search results comes in and you need to click on this one. Once you click on this and then you can see that rest assured it has opened up then it will give you a number of versions that are available so i have selected 5.2.0 and then you scroll down and for the maven you need to just click this and it will say that it is copied to clipboard and you need to go back to your dependencies tag inside that tag you just go and you need to paste it once you will paste it you will see that it is red colored it means that this dependency is not available so for that once you click on it um, maven and refresh icon what it will do it will start downloading those dependencies and you can see that resolving dependencies for the api test uh, it will start downloading those dependencies and it, it will add them so the same way uh, the other dependency that we are going to use here is what we need to do is we are going to need the another dependency is for test ng we are going to use test ng so test ng is this one so once you click on test ng and you click here and then you click here and then you the same way it will give you the versions and you click here and come down and you will find this tag the the complete tag is present and once you click on it it will copy that so once you do that after that um, you can add another dependency so this is one dependency go to edit so now you can see that uh, earlier this tag was red now since it uh, maven has downloaded it uh, on the back end and it has involved that dependency into the project so now it is no more red the same way now if i will add another dependency for test ng so you can see that it is now red after some time it will go away because in the background you can see here in the background it is and this icon you can see that uh, once you will click on this m and refresh icon what it will do it will start resolving the dependencies for our project and if any of the newly added dependency is added into the pom.xml it will go to this url and it will download it after this uh, the next dependency that we are going to use is uh, allure report we are going to use allure, allure report so for uh, Allure, we need to go here and we need to search Allure test ng because we are going to use these two dependencies in conjunction with each other. So we search this, we click here Allure test ng and we are going to use the latest version 2.1.9. Go here and copy this dependency, go again to our pom.xml and add this. Once we add this, uh, it will download again in the backend. And the last thing that we are going to need here at this point of time for the starting, we are going to need Jackson library or the Jackson dependency. For that, we are going to click here Jackson, Jackson data bind, and click here. And once we click here, we go, we select the particular version with whatever we want. So we can click here and copy the dependency, add this dependency to again to our pom.xml. Uh, and now again, I will click on this M and refresh icon. You can see that it says that it load the Maven, ch Maven changes. Maven project structure has been changed. Load changes into IntelliJ idea to make it work correctly. That means whenever any change happens into the pom.xml, we add some dependency or delete it. And then it identifies that there is some changes and it will tell you that you need to refresh it so that it can um, work correctly. So I will click on here and you can see that on the downside, it is showing that resolving dependencies for API test. I just click on it and you can see here, this is actually happening, resolving dependencies of API test. So we can minimize it, it is happening in the backend. So these are the uh, initial libraries and initial setup that is required for our project. And in the next 
chapter we are going to uh, do the uh, we are going to create the required folder structure for our uh, api automation framework so that's all for this uh, tutorial see you in the next one